So, so J Roll just told me that he is live right now testing the new uh, Lightroom update that's supposed to fix the problem with Fujifilm. Jay, why don't you tell everybody what the problem is with Fujifilm and Lightroom? Uh, so if you use the X-Trans sensors on your Fujifilm cameras, this has been an issue with Lightroom ever since Fuji decided to go X-Trans. And it is the details are not very good and you get wormy artifacts. Um, specifically in like the, like the worst is in skin tones. Like it looks like there's worms on people's faces. And that's the worst thing that can happen <laughs> on, a, on a face. Yeah. And it's, that shouldn't happen. No, it, it shouldn't happen. And, um, it's been happening. And I think a lot of people have migrated. If you shoot Fuji film, you have migrated away from Lightroom to any of the other there's a there's a plethora of different um uh, softwares that you can use but capture one is one of the big big boy ones that you can uh, switch to well i have one question though what if you're shooting someone that has worms on their face oh uh, then it's like double worms that's, oh, <laughs> that's even you worse. get real worms right. and the uh lightroom worms <laughs> that's even worse um oh, okay so with Adobe uh, yesterday, I guess it was yesterday, uh, released Camera Raw 11.2, which, which according to Fuji rumors, promises 30% improved details. Only 30. Okay. Oh, well, 30%. Just, just a little over a quarter better. I would like, I would like 100%. But okay. If they could provide 100%, that would be fantastic. But obviously, better. they can't. They just can't. They can't, get they can't and they won't. Um, they won't. Next next update, you know. Uh, all yeah. right, so we're gonna go ahead and do this live. I got I got capture one open. Uh, you sure you feel comfortable doing this live? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm comfy. So what if it looks perfect? If it looks perfect, great. Okay, fan fantastic. <laughs> Uh, we're oh, gonna yeah. use this image I shot in Cuba. This is a guy selling uh, onions and shallots on the streets. Um, wow, those look delicious. Yeah. I got I got them both open. Okay. Mhm. Mm um. So, capture one. This has already been. Let's see if I've messed with it a little bit. Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, cool. Okay, so. Let's, Let's just leave it. Everything's auto. I haven't touched a single thing. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go to three three hundred percent. Okay. Okay, I can see the details. Okay, onions. Okay. Not, I mean, not super Face. super sharp, but three hundred percent, pretty like a lot. But I just want you to look at his skin. Okay. Looks like normal skin. Yeah, it looks like skin. Okay. Now we're going to go to Lightroom. Going to go to 3 to 1. Okay, you kind of see? You see the word? Like, look, look, look at his nose. Yeah. I, um, I've, I noticed this back when I was shooting with the X-Pro 1. Mm, yeah, X-Pro 1 was uh, I would was I would mess fault. with some of those. I would mess with those on, uh, on the Lightroom, and I think I know what you're talking about. This look is crazy. If you enhance the clarity, you can really see wormies. Wormies. So, so they didn't fix well, it. Well, okay. So let's let's run through the thing. So their new thing is you go to photo. Oh, oh. So you have to do a special thing. You hit enhance details. I forgot. Control Alt I, folks. It brings you to this stupid screen. Enhanced details uses. Why are they adding a whole? <laughs> what is this? It uses machine learning to improve details and reduce artifacts in most raw files. The enhanced machine result, learning? yeah, the enhanced result will uh, be saved to a new DNG file. Okay, so maybe maybe it does work then. Okay, let's see it. So you can preview. There's the worms, and then it like. Okay. Yeah. Does it get rid of them? I guess it just looks like it moves the pixels around. All right, we're gonna enhance. They're trying so hard. My, They're trying so hard. 
My estimated time is 25 seconds. Um, this feature will uh, computationally... 25 seconds per picture? Per picture. Creating D and G. Okay, it's going. So it does... We gotta sit here and wait. So it doesn't happen with every picture, which which I get. Um, but is that true? It doesn't happen with every picture. It, do, it doesn't happen with every every photo. That's crazy. So it's like good and bad because you don't actually have to do it to every photo. Okay, here we go. Ready? It's, it's been complete. All right, yeah. Does it does it, it look looks better? better? Let's compare it to Capture One. Okay, it's definitely sharper. Less wormies, and can we compare it to wormies now? And then wormies. Okay. It's lo- It's loading. Yeah, it's it's certainly better. Okay. Um, they got rid of the wormies. Takes 25 seconds per photo. How long does Capture One take to render out a photo? I mean, it's because it's saving it to a completely new DNG file. So in Capture One, it doesn't actually do anything. You just kind of, kind of just go for it. Oh, you don't have to do a special process <laughs> like normal. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just does it, you know. It just it's just regular. Okay, so well, uh, I think the verdict's in. Adobe's trying real hard. They want the Fuji users. Uh, it's it certainly does look pretty sharp. That, that looks soft right there. Let me see what. Let me see. If, oh, is that supposed to be in focus? Probably not. Let's go to this on let's go uh, to this onion here. Cu- Cubans love tank tops, man. I mean they have to, right? It's hot as fuck all it's the time. So fucking sweaty. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. definitely enhanced. But when you What do you so what do you think? You like what what image do you like better still? The one out of Capture One or the one out of Lightroom? I mean it's the same it it looks no different once you know you're zoomed out. You only really see it when you're fucking pixel peeping. So, so is there a point in like uh, switching over to Capture One? Mm, it, is it the time? It just the, the it, time rendering. It just depends, I guess. If you're, um, it really depends if you are printing, I guess, and depending on how big you're looking at the image. Because if you print it out, you right, know, right. something or you're viewing it really big, you might be able to see the wormies. But, um, right. Yeah, I don't know. Tw- 30 seconds per image. It creates a completely new DNG file for each photo. So if you're already doing, if you just want to do it to every photo you do, you know, like this, um, my Cuba selections, I have like, 382 picked out and if i were to run it just to get good sharpening and good x trans uh files i would end up with 744 photos or 764 photos total and then that would be sitting and waiting to enhance all them um but i don't know i guess i'll look because like you said you know i'm i've been using lightroom for 10 years it's kind of tough to switch softwares uh but it's all just slot it it's would, all uh, just sliders <laughs> it's not like this 300 300 photo 350 photos times 25 minutes per photo 25 seconds per photo what is this sorry seconds. what does that put us at two Divi- hours d- divided by 60 seconds and then that's 140, that's 160 minutes. Mm, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours to process all those. And then you can start God editing. Goddamn photos. Then, you, then can, you can start editing. And then you can, and then you can export again. The, mach- the machine has learned. Now you may work. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> you guys let us know if you've tried this. I gotta say, I, it, it is pretty good that they got rid of the Wormies. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Is it, is it worth it? It's, it's, let me work it. Yeah. So, you guys decide. Let us know what you flip think it. in the comments. Flip it and um, reverse it. Let's see if anybody has switched their workflows to Capture One because I have been trying. Yeah, what I've do been, you guys use? Yeah, I, I've been trying out the combination of uh, calling in Photo Mechanic and then color correcting in Capture One, and that uh, that seems to work. And uh, the more and more me and Mike do deep dives on uh, Adobe, the more and more we find uh, their bullshit. So. Uh, we got to figure out this premiere thing. We got to go back to the <laughs> premiere conspiracy. We have a premiere conspiracy. We'll bring the premiere conspiracy with you guys. It, just know if... I, we got to do some more tests, yeah, but it's this big. It could be big. Just know that um, the a Windows media player can play any file that you want and premiere. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't spread lies till we have the, the proof. Okay. All right. People are gonna people are gonna sue us. Adobe's gonna sue us if we start slandering them without the proof. All right, let us know, guys. Do you use Capture One? Are you going to be enhancing yeah. your images from here on out? I just I just downloaded Capture One just to try it out. Although I'll be honest, I've been dropping JPEGs on the upload and uh, not even worried well, about it. That's so. the other thing is like, do you, I mean? Don't need to forget. Don't, why would just I edit? forget? Why would yeah, I edit? That's the other thing is I get that it's better, but yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Much love. Peace.